Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale here to answer the question that you're all dying to know. And that is, what's up with the new Electro Giant? He's now 7 Elixir, 15% less HP, but you know, he's 7 Elixir. Today I'm not alone to assess the new Electro Giant. I'm joined by Evan. Evan, welcome to the channel, man. How you doing? I'm doing good, Ash. Thanks for having me. Uh, thanks for coming on, man. You were top 10 down the home stretch of last season playing the Electro Giant in this really fast cycle deck. You guys can see it on the screen. It feels like Mirror is everywhere. We talked about this on yesterday's video. How do you feel about what? You can search for a match if you want. Uh, I'm going to do right. all live ladder today. But as you do, tell us, is the new Electro Giant better or worse? I think overall, it's probably a slightly worse card however i think that it could be used a lot more effectively i guess it's not really used at top ladder very often since it's so easy to stop which is the reason why uh like no one really used it because it's so easy to stop i guess okay uh, so you said kind of worse i believe uh yeah but kind of better what is that like what situations is he better in how is he better he's better he's better on defense for example if your opponent overcommits with like a bunch of small health cards, mm -hmm. he can be better. But um, going to the tower, he's barely ever going to make it, especially if your opponent has something like a building. Okay. Um, so would you consider the deck that you're running right now then? This is this is the, the deck that he will shine in, the new Electro Giant, and it's kind of a spell cycle, right? Yeah. So your win condition you're not looking at as the Electro Giant necessarily, nice activation. You're looking at it as more of a spell cycle and he's a defensive tool, is that correct? Yeah, so I think that the deck that this guy's running is either has the Inferno Tower or the Tesla. I think it's Inferno, um, yeah. It's Inferno? Well, I don't know, but that's Probably. the version I've seen of it, yeah. I've seen it I've seen it with okay. both. He might be running Ymir also, I'm not sure. Um, okay. No, probably so not because he's used seven of his cards. Um, yeah. Okay. So, so what are you trying to do then? Are you trying to defend? I mean, this is obviously an incredibly fast deck as well, considering it has a seven elixir card in it. So there, I just used it on defense because it killed the miner, and now he has to commit four or five elixir in that case mm -hmm. on it. Um, I might just wait like a couple seconds and like play it in play a mirror one in the back, Ooh, just because okay. it he'll have to cycle back to his inferno tower. And I could... Earthquake? Yeah, Earthquake, Log, plus... Um, earthquake, Mirror, sometimes, like, takes it out if you if they play it a little bit early. Okay. Um, we will see what happens here. Yeah, so... There he goes, he plays it. Um, the Electric Giant didn't really do anything, actually, but now I'm in the damage lead. Mm -hmm. Because of just the Earthquake, Mirror. It does so much damage, the mirrored um earthquake it does like 350 damage i'm pretty sure that's true four <laughs> that's true um, that's pretty insane do you think the mirror is like the most broken card ever now like what are your thoughts on mirror nice job um, i think there. that it's kind of overhyped right now because okay um i don't know i was thinking about it earlier and i realized like i asked myself why was it never used and i realized that like now in this deck i can't use something like a fire spirit or anything which could be better for like chip damage um and offensive capabilities mm -hmm. um how long so, have you been playing e giant have you been playing it since the card came out or did you were your a uh, more recent convert by the way i should mention that jacks actually recommended to me to bring you on the channel hi guys he's like this guy's absolutely insane with e giant so that's how we got oh. here uh so how long have you been playing it um yeah i've been playing it pretty much since the release okay Cool. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I use the skeletons there just to distract Inferno. Yeah. For like one hit. Yep. Um, I'm basically just gonna try to. I need to defend his miners since I can, out chip him, except for with um, his minor damage. Yeah. So I really just need to keep the miner off the tower. I need. Ooh. I might like. Yeah, it's a pretty tight game, but yeah, he doesn't yeah, yeah. have great. So he's uh, earthquaking like, you. You're gonna need to. Okay. Let's see. You got this. Earthquake, earthquake. Come on. One. Oh. No! Oh man, dude, the curse of Ash hit you on the debut, bro. Uh, <laughs> but either way, you did a pretty good job explaining the deck there and how it works. 
that was crazy. We'll jump into another one here. Talk what, okay. what went wrong there? I mean, other, other than so, just RNG not catching the monitor. <laughs> basically, I think what went wrong was just that last Electro Spirit. Um, I didn't have anything to catch it. I had like Earthquake Mirror Tornado E Giant in my hand or something. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Basically, the two hardest counters to the sec is are Sparky and Inferno Tower because. There's not much you can do against a Sparky Giant or Sparky Goblin Giant push. Okay. Um, okay. And you have to commit a lot of Elixir to take out the Inferno Tower. All right, so, well, here we go. So early, talk to me about early game with this deck. So you think this deck is, again, to be clear, this mirror version of the uh, the deck that we're playing here, you think it's better now with a 7 Elixir Electro Giant, but you think the Electro Giant is pretty much dead in beatdown decks. Yeah, basically. Okay. Um, I think that if you think about it, so the mirror buffs a card when you level up a card, it's up by 10%. Mm -hmm. Um, so then if it's up two levels, it's up 21%. Uh, so if the electric giant lost 15% of its stats, then I'm just going to use this to snipe the cannon. Okay. Um, and it's now one less elixir. It'll be better overall because then it's basically plus six percent stats from the pre um reworked electro giant and yeah i don't know if you understand what i'm saying but i think i kind of do i'm sure my viewers are smarter than i am so i'm sure they understand okay this is cool though i kind of like that this is a kind of a new control deck then you know archetype yes yeah. because we're not we're not used to seeing electro giant in like a defensive use case for the most part yeah how often are you mirroring the electro giant we saw it once last match i believe um basically only it basically happens against building decks when their building fully dies got you um so that they have like no real counter left in hand okay um for example log bait is a really good time to mirror it yep against the fur tower uh okay so we fire balls again. No big deal. 50 seconds remaining inside the match here. You just keep cycling spells in the right-hand lane. Yeah, I'm just going to set up... I think I'll set up an Electro Giant in the back. Okay. Um, now you're setting up lucky. the E-Giant uh, on the strong side tower, but again, you're using him in a defensive fashion, which is the reason why. Yeah. Ooh. So if he... He uses his cannon cart in the back, though, so he doesn't have much against my mirrored Electro Giant. Okay. Um... Bandit does. See, yep. Wow, so much damage, out, though. So gets, much damage. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of damage. Okay. Um, if he goes Goblin Drill right here, I think I'll go Electro Giant at the bridge. Okay. Opposite lane. I'm just going to, like, predict it. Ooh. I think he's going to play. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right. So this Bandit shouldn't be a problem unless it takes it down to Fireball range. Okay, there we go. Boom! Hey, well played, man. Ooh. Well played. Evan, I like Thanks. this, man. I like this. All right, let's go uh, Let's go into another. Actually, you, you mind coaching me real quick, and then you can go into another match to end the video? Yeah, no problem. All right, here I go. I'm jumping into a match right now. I don't have max of anything in this deck, I don't think, but I have the yeah, mirror, a, so it will be. It's a really weird yeah. combo of cards, except for, like, it's, I mean, it's pretty similar to the Royal Hog cycle deck. I basically saw that and thought, oh, I'll just put in. What do you think about um, that? Uh, like, uh, what do you think about that Earthquake to start things out? Is that okay? I think Earthquake is, yeah, it's a good thing to start the game out with. Yeah. Um, okay. Defend with as little elixir as possible is another good tip with this deck. Okay, don't um, mind me so far. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm just gonna that's continue. pretty unlucky for you that they... Or actually, the Queen should do a pretty good job against... Or, nice, nice play. Okay, so he's got the little bomber. That's so annoying. maybe yeah, just a cannon should take out pretty much all of that, I think. And I, I'd say don't do anything against ah! the bomber if it does get. My a bad, hit. my bad. So I wasted that whole thing. Yeah, no problem. Just but now I have a surviving yeah, cannon. He he's probably just gonna murder. His Peko is out of cycle. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. What were you saying? No, no, go for it. So his Peko is out of cycle. So it would have been a good time to just play e an giant. Ele electro giant at the bridge. So here, should I e giant in the? Where what should I do here? Um, earthquake log. I'd say earthquake, and then if he goes with a Pekka, 
play the electric giant the opposite lane of the Pekka. In the back or the bridge? Uh, at the bridge. Okay. Um, it's very defensive, so then your opponents can get quite like angry about it, I guess, and okay. try to like build up a big push. But an electric giant at the bridge, you really have to defend that. So, so yeah, that's a good play. Just cannon it. Um, yep. so then you can get. Let's just what, like bit bit. bit. Sorry, okay. I queened in the back here. I'm not. I wasn't sure what to yeah. do there. Okay. So it's kind of spamming you with a lot of stuff at the bridge, I guess. Should I Electro Giant um, here? No, opposite? Yeah, I'd say, yeah, Electro Giant now, opposite. Okay. Um, and now maybe pop yep, the ability. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, nice. Okay, I'm going to pull the Dark Goblin in if he plays it. Okay. Activated accidentally. And that should take the whole tower, probably, if it goes undefended. And log might get a lot of value here. Yeah, yep. nice. Okay. Nice, nice. Boom, boom, boom. All it takes so, is one push with this disgusting deck, Evan. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the thing I realized about the Electro Giant when it came out is it's a push by itself. Ah! You don't really need any supporting cards, unlike any other beatdown strategy. Yeah. It's more, more of a cycle deck. It's a push because, by itself. Yeah. I don't know what he did there, but... uh. With that, with that Inferno yeah, Tower, know. but uh, we'll take it. We'll take it. You know what? Nice that nice was kind of fun, man. I was kind. I made like so many dumb plays, but it was still like you know. No, once no, no. That Pekka was out of hand. I felt like it was pretty easy. You know. All right. Yeah. Why don't you give it one more shot, man? How long have you been All playing right. Clash Royale as you uh, search for a match here? About four years, probably. Okay. So when did you find out you were good? Um, I kind of found out like maybe a year ago when I started watching pro gameplay okay. and I realized that I could kind of learn patterns in what they were doing. Okay. And that's um, when you kind of, I don't know, I guess recalibrate how you approach the game strategically? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. Cool. So, and this, yeah. Okay. So he's using kind of a weird deck. The start of the season, you can't really see, you can't really know what your opponents are going to use. Um. <laughs> This is true. This is this is the daily life for us mid ladder players, uh, Evan. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, here we so go. So he used a lot of elixir on that queen. He there. did. He used zap, archer queen, or zap, guards, mega minion, musketeer. So I decided. Okay, he's Ooh. using a weird deck. Um, I might go mirrored electro giant in the opposite lane. Okay. Um, probably. I can. I'm just gonna defend this. Golem so, with a cannon by itself. Yep, and the E-Giant will kill the support troops and he'll have to spend a lot of list in the opposite lane. Yeah. So he goes Mini P.E.K.K.A. Oh, uh, the Mini P.E.K.K.A. shouldn't be a big problem because I think I'll just NATO to King Tower. Okay. And you might... You might take that right tower, man. That mirrored E-Giant is shredding. Yeah. Woo! All right. 179. Can, now, can you defend? I think you can. I think you can. <laughs> I think this dog should get a lot of value. I think so too, man. Wow, just like that. <laughs> if that's the crazy yeah. thing about this deck is you actually get a nice surprise factor with the mirror until people get used to it, but no one's expecting the mirrored Electro Giant, you know? Yeah, yeah. people are like, okay, I can use my... Exactly. Uh, two, of my, two of my good counters on it. Um, so here's an example. I'll just use the Electro Giant on defense. And then probably pull the golem far to the, towards the right lane, so I can play the queen to kill the mini Pekka. Okay. Got to be careful too. That king tower of yours is uh, <laughs> that mini Pekka did a number. Yeah, that's true. So mini Pekka down. Queen actually targets the uh, e whiz. So I'll just right here. Nice. Okay. The golem shouldn't be that scary since I have another cannon in cycle. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. I'll just queen low and then... Nice skeletons there. So you have NATO, you have cannon back in cycle, I believe. Yeah. Woo! He has fireball, though. Uh, he has he, zap. He already he has he's zap. gonna zap, I think. Yeah, he has zap. So Okay, so how are we gonna do this here? Oh! oh! Oh, he was I trying to cycle to it. it. Yeah, he couldn't cycle back. He um, couldn't cycle back in time, man. What were you waiting for, Arturo, BJ? Yeah. Uh, well, uh -oh. hey, GG's, man. 
Evan, you played really, really well. It is a super fun deck. I think that overall we've answered the question. Is Electro Giant better? Yes, but in a very unorthodox way on the defensive side of the arena in a deck like this or a surprise factor with Mirror. Uh, but overall, you're not super, super enthusiastic about the change to the card. Is that accurate? Yeah, I'm not too enthusiastic. People say it's probably going to be less toxic, but I think that it might just be more... With the, all the earthquake rocket cycle this is true this is true let us uh let, let's let's hope that, that is not the case but who knows pretty early yeah. indicators say that it might be evan listen man you've been a pleasure to have on the channel we'd love to have you back man great guest thanks for having me no problem guys that's going to do it for the video check out evan's player stats and profiling stats rail.com also give him a follow on twitter show the first time guest some love here on the channel big shout out to brent Shaw, my youtube partner along with stats rail where you can see evan's player stats and profile as well as, as the deck link in the show notes below give this deck a try guys thank you for watching and as always take care guys